Hi, I am Dr. Jacob Lauritsen, and this is Read, Write, and Sight, the channel where I teach you how to read, write, and sight for your college classes. This video is part of a series for my upcoming English 101 class, and it's an online class, and maybe you've taken an online class, maybe you're taking one right now, but in this video, I want to talk about some of the good and the bad for how to participate and feel connected in an online class and, and how to really get something when you're participating in an online discussion. Okay, so let's get started. I, for a little bit of background, I've taken a lot of online classes myself. Um, I'm not just uh, speaking as a teacher, but I'm speaking as someone uh, who, who was a student in online classes. And one thing I, that really frustrated me is when I had discussion forums where the teacher was like, um, you need to, to post uh, something on this topic, it has to be this long, and then you need to respond to like three other people. I get the idea behind that, right? Like they're trying to create an online version of maybe something that would happen in a classroom, right? You're trying to have an actual discussion. Why? Well, as people discuss, they, it generates ideas, it, it, it forces people into understanding things a little bit better. There's a lot of good you know, pedagogy and educational science behind it. I get that. Problem is, it's super easy to phone in and just fake, and students figure that out very quickly. All they really have to do, they don't really have to pay attention to anyone else, right? They just have to um, make their comment and then reinforce their comment on a bunch of other people's stuff. And so they, it's very easy to not get anything out of that kind of forum discussion. <clears throat> there are very positive benefits for online forums though, which is one reason why I offer one though I don't grade it. When I was doing my dissertation on, on online education, um, one of the things I learned was uh, many students, they, they feel kind of like in a vacuum. They're, they don't get to see their classmates, they don't get to see their teacher, oftentimes they don't get to see a video like this, right? So they have no idea what the person looks like, what they sound like, what they are like. And so, it, it's very easy to feel disconnected and to just stop doing your work and just fade away. And that's horrible. That doesn't help students. That doesn't help you to get better. That doesn't help you to learn. What students need to do to learn is to engage. And one of the things that really helps some people to engage is, is interaction. It's the social side of education. And when you're doing an online class or learning through a YouTube video, you don't necessarily get that. So, what I do with my online forums is I, I make them out there. I put them out there so that if a student asks me a question or they want to ask each other a question, they have the opportunity to socialize. I'm not going to force it on them, but they can touch base, they can get a hold of each other, they can ask questions. It's also a venue for me to respond to questions and others to see the answer, maybe without having to ask the question themselves. I, I find that it's, it doesn't necessarily replicate a normal classroom, but it does make that the communication that happens there more useful. Okay, so you as a student, what are the kinds of things you can do in an online forum to get the most out of it? Well, genuinely try to come up with questions to the things that are going on in your head. As students, sometimes we, we don't all, always, we, we're very used to being frustrated, and so we're not necessarily thinking, oh, this thing that I'm feeling right now, I could fix that by getting an answer. Sometimes we just, we're frustrated and we don't know why, right? So you gotta start by paying attention as you do your reading, as you do all the other things that you do in an online forum, so that you can recognize the questions you need answered so that you can self-advocate, you can ask those questions, right? Then you need to be active. You need to see what other people are saying 
and be willing to put yourself out there to ask the question. Now here is the hard thing. There is this, this horrible attitude in education that you're supposed to know what the class is about before you take it. You're supposed to know everything. Because otherwise you would show up and, I don't know, maybe make mistakes. You might fail. Not with a bad grade, but you might not live up to some sort of expectation. That is so wrong. <laughs> Education is for people who don't know everything. For people who are willing to open up and learn something new. You have to actively want to learn something especially in an online class when the structure may or may not be set up very well to, to help you learn. In my experience, students who have good study skills translate well to an online classroom because they can work independently. But students that don't, it's, it's a struggle. You absolutely need that social interaction. So participate in the discussion, ask good questions, know what you need to know. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and say, I don't get this. Can someone explain this to me? Or, or you know, Dr. Larson, can you please explain this to me? Because it's there for you, right? Teachers like me, I mean, they, they don't want students confused, right? That's, that's the opposite of what we want. Ask the question. Now me, I, I do my best to respond to emails, but I do like the forums because then I can answer a question once and it can help everybody instead of answering everyone individually. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I hope that this video was valuable to you. I think there's a great place uh, for forums in online classes. That's one reason why I use them. I don't grade it because it. I have other ways to assess what you know and what you can do. I use those instead but I still make an online forum so that it is available for students to interact with each other and with me. So uh, if you're one of my students, I hope that you use it. If you're not, hopefully this has some good advice to help you with online classes or, or maybe just how you interact in the forums for this video. So thank you for watching. This is, uh, I'm Dr. Jacob Lartz and this has been Read, Write, Insight. See you in the next video.